Hey travel bugs. Thanks for joining us. It's actually really early, a lot earlier than we typically do vlogs. It's 5.48 a.m. Uh, we're actually woken up at like 4.30. And it's because I got a fraud alert on one of my Chase cards asking me to confirm whether I made a purchase at a gas station. Now, gas stations are the notorious hunting grounds for people who find or steal credit cards. They, you know, they're open late. They're able to use them to check yeah. if, you know, okay. they're functional, they're yeah. usable. And they usually use it to make multiple small transactions before they go off and make bigger transactions. Luckily, you know, a lot of the banks, they've caught on to this as well. So they look for multiple transactions at gas stations. Same locations, yeah. Well, yeah, same locations. And then they send out alerts. So when I woke up to, and I checked my phone, I saw the alert and I got up immediately. I woke up yell out. So that wasn't fun. I replied to the chase notification and told them, no, this wasn't my charge. And they said, okay, you can't use this card until you call us. So that immediately put a stop on my card. And then I called them. The conversation was very helpful. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of like why we're doing the vlog. Because obviously you lose your card, you lose your wallet, which is what happened in my case the day before you leave for vacation. Yeah, so this is where our situation is a little unique is because it is the day before vacation. Right. And Chase, which is our main credit card, is what we use, and that's what was in his wallet. So we're like, oh God, what are yeah. we gonna do? <laughs> so, you know, it was incredibly stressful, and uh, we were trying to figure out what our next move is. And I lost other cards, but I'm just gonna walk you through the processes with the different cards, because we I did lose some Amex cards as well. Mm -hmm. So starting with the Chase card, I called them up, and they were very helpful. One important thing I will note is that the personal card lost, stolen, fraud department, was a completely different department than their business card a fraud department. So that's one thing you'll need to know. If you have a Chase personal card and a business card, you're gonna have to talk to two different people. So that process is gonna be a little bit longer because you're gonna have to do it twice. Uh, but in both instances, both reps, they were both really helpful, especially because in the unique situation that we had, she still has her card. And even though it's the same number, same security code, it's just a different name on it. They've been able to make it so that her card will work in our destination country and not anywhere else or online. So even though we won't be able to get a replacement card in time for our trip, we can still use the card that she has mm -hmm. because any charges made in our home state or anywhere else in the world will be declined. So that was incredibly helpful. I had no idea about that. So if you are in that situation where you have a significant other as an authorized user, you can go that route. I kind of just was like in a panic. I was asking them for options. Originally I had to ask if they could mail it to us in New York yeah. somewhere <laughs> because we're flying out of New York tomorrow. So, but you know, you needed a physical address, couldn't send it to the post office or anything like that. So they recommended that. So that's something to keep in mind if you lose any of your Chase cards. As far as the business card goes, I didn't have to do that with the business card because the business cards have different account numbers. So I canceled mine and we're just going to use hers. Now, just to give you an idea of how fast it can get your replacement if you're not one day out, they can send it next day. So we actually could have gotten my Chase card tomorrow if we were gonna be here. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just unfortunate we leave early in the morning for our flight to New York, even though we're not leaving from New York for Thailand until tomorrow, uh, night. A tomorrow night. So that was pretty much the Chase experience, I think. Easy, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. easy, straightforward. You can get a card expedited to you next day if you're not leaving the next day, so you can have your card. They cancel it right away. They review the fraudulent charges with you. They try to fit our situation to a way that it works, which was awesome. Yeah, exactly. So really kudos to Chase on that. Now, as far as Amex goes, I just went ahead and I didn't call. I just canceled my card because all our American Express cards, our charge cards anyway, I didn't lose any of my credit cards, I have unique account numbers. So, you know, I added her as an authorized user. Her card numbers were different. Me canceling my card does nothing to hers. Hers will still work, so we will use those. The reason why this is important is we travel with our Amex Platinum wherever we go. We mm -hmm. travel with our Chase Sapphire Reserve anywhere we go. Not only because they're our go-to travel cards, but also because they're like membership cards. You know, They have a lot of benefits that are very useful at home and abroad. So that's why it's very important for us to have those cards with us, especially while we're out of the country. Mm -hmm. So that's important. We're gonna have her cards and that's awesome. Yeah. That's the Amex situation pretty much. 
Uh, like I said, I didn't call, but they're expediting the cards, but for some reason, they wouldn't be able to get it to us until Monday. So they'll be in the mail. They'll be here when we get back with Chase. They could have got it to us using Saturday delivery, whereas Amex, for whatever reason, wouldn't be able to get it to us until Monday at the earliest. For those watching, today is Friday, <laughs> the 22nd? 23rd Third, yeah friday the 23rd that's that i lost my priority pass card my chase one so i'm gonna have to use my amex one so i'm gonna eventually have to call chase and have a new priority pass card issued to me but i think that's about it oh i did also lose my bank card our bank cards are different numbers too our bank cards are different numbers but unfortunately all we could do right now was put a stop on it because it's a pretty fairly local bank it's a credit union i think they're based out of massachusetts yeah so we have to wait until their business hours open to claim fraudulent charges and order a new one so for now though we're safe no one can use it so i'll be able to use hers <laughs> we'll be able to you know we use our debit card to withdraw cash so in any event we need cash abroad we use it we use our debit card right. because they reimburse atm fees even yeah. internationally so that's why that card are vital to have while traveling as well so that's our situation if you know you run into this problem we just wanted to share something you know scary you know yeah. personal that you may run into you know even though you may be very careful i knew obviously i was going to vacation i knew i this is the worst time to lose my wallet and i've been traveling for several years and it still happened we took the dogs out for a late walk and i never take my wallet out for walks at night because i there's no need for it but i one of our dogs is not feeling well so we were like okay well if she has diarrhea sorry <laughs> we'll stop and pick her up something to settle her stomach so i brought my my wallet with me because i thought i might need it of course as it would happen the one time i do so i somehow also managed to drop it right. or whatever you we're, know we're not perfect we're only human things happen you just gotta keep calm and try to figure out there's always a solution right. you just need to keep a straight head that, right you know, like, and this is why we decided to make this vlog here at you know 6 a.m <laughs> it's to share it with you guys and let you guys know that things don't always go perfectly for us right you know this is a very tough situation and just remember you know you find yourself in a similar situation you'll be okay right you'll be okay you'll figure it out just breathe right you know some of you might be wondering you know what am i doing about my ids because of yes my license was in there but um you know I have my passport, which was not, so I'll be using my passport. I'll be making a copy of my passport and taking that about with me. I'm also taking my passport card, which I have. And I don't know, maybe some of you guys might have some expired IDs or licenses that you have. I have an expired one. I think I just renewed my license last year. I think I just got mm -hmm. a new one. So it's one of my latest pictures. I'm taking that with me as an alternative form of ID and using that primarily in Thailand because if I lose that, it's not a big deal. And if it doesn't work, then I'll get back to the hotel right. and go pick up a copy of my passport or uh, my passport card. And a good point it might be like when you're home, don't carry around both your passport and your ID. It's probably good to keep one of probably your passport home somewhere safe. So this way, you know, if you do lose your wallet, you don't have both identifications in your wallet and it's lost so yeah. definitely keep them separated i literally keep my passport in my safe yeah. unless i'm traveling and right. that's what i recommend right. not just to keep them separate don't take your passport outside of the house right. unless you're leaving the country right. it's too important a document to risk losing on a daily basis right. that's i think that's pretty much it guys just wanted to give you a quick 411 we're cool we're good if it were just me if i were single was just on my own with my cards Things would be a little bit more difficult. I would have some trouble getting some of these cards. I do know that American Express does have emergency card services that cater to you while you're abroad. I'm not 100% clear on what the details are. I know it's possible to get a replacement card while you're out of the country for the, at least American Express. I asked Chase while I was on the phone with them if they could mail the card out of the country. They said yes, but there might be some custom holds, but that's basically what you have to what you have to deal with. So lesson to be learned here is don't lose your cards so close to your vacation day <laughs> that's it for this one guys thank you so much for watching hopefully this will never apply to you but in the event that 
this happens to you, hopefully this video is helpful. It's useful, yes. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Next time we are vlogging, it'll be on our way to the airport. We'll be covering airport lounges and travel days. So look forward to that vlog. Yes, we'll see All you right. there. See you soon, guys.